Hey, 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 top of the morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. And this is the morning market preparation video for November 21st, 2019. Well, we had kind of an interesting day yesterday, didn't we? Um, we learned that there may be a delay in the phase one deal that impacted the market pretty substantially yesterday. At one point, the Dow was down 200 points over 200 points and um it was really i don't think it was a whole lot of concern about the phase one deal not happening it was really the concern as to what happens with the tariffs that are currently scheduled for increase on december 15th that was the big question now by the end of the day the bulls decided to rally back it's it's kind of what's happened with this market lately any bad news um, cannot be held on to the bears just don't have enough energy or strength and the bulls rally back so we, we really didn't suffer any technical damage in the chart yesterday to speak of. If we take a look at um, standard moving average charts, we don't see any major technical damage here in the chart. As a matter of fact, um, a possible hammer pattern, if we can get follow through to the upside, that hammer pattern would be valid and may actually just slip us into a bit of consolidation as we wait for some clarification as what all this means. Now, this is a uh, this political football um, just continues to be batted back and forth, and it's really probably going to have to a bad choice of words there. It's, it's we're going to have to stay on our toes while this continues to get tossed about. And the reason I say that is because market sentiment seems to be very tied to this phase one deal. We've certainly rallied significantly on optimism that there will be some kind of a deal. And if there is not a deal, um, the questions around what happens with the tariffs could really impact the market. So what that means as traders is we're going to have to really stay on our toes. We're going to have to stay focused on price action because sentiment could turn very quickly depending on how the news rolls out about that event. So probably not a big surprise, but that's where we are in the market. Just real sensitive to that trade data situation and once again i'm not sure it has anything to do with the actual phase one deal because except for except for the idea that they may remove some tariffs and there might be some ag products purchased we really don't know what's in the deal to begin with so it, it's uh, it just it's just the market's going to be very news driven and sensitive around that issue, um, it would appear. So just stay on your toes and stay focused on that price action. Should be in good shape. Now, what I said um, earlier, um, we really had no uh, technical damage in the chart. Certainly, this pullback was substantial, but we have rallied so much over the last uh, month and a half that really um, no major impact in the chart whatsoever. Um, what will be important is if this hammer pattern doesn't get a follow through to the upside. A hammer that uh, pattern that doesn't get fulfilled to the upside could turn into something like that. That that would add some bearishness to this chart. But if we have a little bit of bullish follow through, we should be in good shape. Now, unfortunately, this morning futures have been just kind of bouncing around flat. At the current at this current second, they are looking at just a little teeny tiny gap down this morning in the Dow. But please keep in mind, we have a lot of news yet to come out this morning, and that may dramatically change by the time we actually get to the open. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY looking at the, at, at the SPY, as you can see, really no technical damage here in the chart um, at this point. Just a little back and forth. As a matter of fact, I got to tell you, this little rest um, that we're taking right here in the market with this pullback, I honestly think is is positive in the sense that it, it took some of the heat out of this rally and calmed things down just a little bit. And I think if that continues, we're 
going to be in pretty good shape here as long as we hold these support levels. As you can see this morning, we're looking at a little tiny bit lower this morning um, in the futures, but really nothing damaging here to the market at all. So keep your eye on this. This could flip either direction, but I honestly believe this really opens the door for the possibility of more upside what I'd honestly like to see is a little consolidation in here, just a little resting period. Let's spill some of this volatility out a little bit, take a little heat out of the market, actually build us a platform to be able to rally from or break down from if, if that would be the case. But let's um, just take a little break here and take a breath here in the market. We'll see if that occurs or not. I rarely get what I want, but I'll always, I'll always make sure and voice what I'd like to see. <laughs> Let's take a look at the queues. Uh, queues also pulled back strongly yesterday, um, but really left no technical damage behind. In the chart, we're looking pretty good overall. Um, holding in this area of support, I think we're in pretty good shape. Uh, again, we are showing just a little bit of bearishness this morning, uh, but nothing of major consequence right now. And IWM, this poor thing, just can't seem to um, get going. Essentially, we closed yesterday about where we opened. What's interesting is this uh, tends to be moving um, almost opposite the other market. So this morning, while we've got um, futures pointing down and all the other indexes, this is indicating just a tiny little bit higher. So kind of interesting. What's going to be um, really important, I think, is if IWM continues to hold this support, that's going to be critical. We need to hold on to there. If we were to drift down, we could see us move significantly lower again. And uh, obviously, that's not what we're wanting to see here in the market. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now, the VIX yesterday started to register just a little bit of fear. Just a little tiny bit of fear started to register in the market. We rallied up pretty strongly. But then by the end of the day, that rally back really, you know, tempered that dramatically. I mean, uh, very little fear here in the market. It's, I, I do have a concern that the, that the market is just a little bit overconfident, uh, confident, a little bit complacent that all of these um, issues will be easily resolved. Um, I don't know that that's true, but we're going to have to just kind of uh, watch this carefully. But one thing I will say, as long as we continue to kind of hang out in this downtrend, hang out below this resistance level, I think we're in good shape. And we've got multiple resistance levels to, work, to think about, but this would be a real critical one if we were to break above that. So far, don't see any signs in the VIX that that's the case. Fear really dropped back out of the market yesterday. Let's take a look at T2122. Now, T2122 saw a little pullback yesterday, and that little pullback is probably helpful um, overall to the bulls because we really haven't suffered any technical damage but you can see t2122 is pulling back if we actually reach this down into here with virtually no technical damage and we could do that with just a few days of consolidation we could see t2122 drift down toward this area then we have that scenario where we've consolidated rested in the market and opened a a big opportunity for an upside move. So let's stay focused on those news reports around that phase one deal. That could really set things on fire. We'll just wanna watch this pretty closely. Right now, um, we have plenty of room for an upside move. We still have room for a downside move. So just keep that in mind. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now this is probably going to be the driver of the day. We do have some earnings reports. Um, but nothing that would be really um, big market moving reports. So um, more likely 
we're going to see uh, these events move the market around today. So keep a, keep your eye focused on this. We have jobless claims. Those have been holding up very, very strong. No particular uh, worry there right now. Philly Fed survey that can move us around a little bit. Um, usually tends not to be um, a major market mover. And then existing home sales. Obviously, that can move the market significantly, and we'll want to keep an eye on that. But right now, now with rates so low, home sales seem to be going very, very well. This, all of these numbers could be um, bullish, positive numbers uh, for the day. So that could be the market mover for us today. Um, also notice we have the natural gas report unlikely to move the market. And then later on today, the Fed balance sheet, which is unlikely to move the market. So keep an eye on those events today on the calendar. On the earnings calendar today, we have, you know, just a uh, really a, a lot of um, retailers um, reporting. And um, after the bell today, um, we will get information from INTU um, into it. Um, that could give us a little bit of bouncing around um, after the market today, but I, I'm not sure that it's going to be a major impactful um, report. We also have GPS um, reporting today. We have JWN, a lot of retail reporting um, earnings. Um, so we'll want to just keep an eye on that. Ross stores. Um, I'm not sure retail is going to move us around all that much. So just something to be focused on for the day. Um, nothing, nothing that would be that huge market driver uh, for the day. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day of trading. And I want to wish you great success. And... If this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you do me a favor? Could you click that subscribe button on YouTube? Also, if you could click that bell icon when it pops up, those things um, help these uh, help this channel grow, and I really, really appreciate everyone who takes the time to do that. And also, if you believe this video was worthy, um, please feel free to leave a comment. That helps out a lot. And I truly appreciate everyone who takes the time to do that. As a matter of fact, um, one question that's kind of been rattling around um, the market, and you can see so far, it's really had not much of an impact on the market. But a question, and if feel free to at, uh, answer this question in the comment, um, do you think these impeachment hearings are having any major effect on the market whatsoever? Um, right now, I'm not seeing that, but maybe you have a different opinion. Um, write it in there. It'd be interesting to see what everybody's thinking about these impeachment hearings. Let's take a look at um, charts that could be setting up. Now, remember, every time I post one of these charts and, or show one of these charts, it's just part of the education of what I do. And if you find these um, to be useful to you, wonderful. But it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. I want that to be very clear. There is no recommendation to buy or sell any security. Let's take a look at BABA. BABA is going to be kind of an interesting uh, chart considering what's going on with all of the trade deal. And you can see BABA pulling back here pretty strongly yesterday. But one thing I wanted to point out here with BABA is it's holding on to this level of price support after breaking through there. So we may need to have, a, we may need a little bit more clarity on the phase one deal uh, for this to really start perking up. But keep an eye on this. Um, it's been quite a mover so far this year. If we can find something in the news that says that trade one deal or phase one deal is coming along, this may turn right back up and, and, and get going. So you might wanna keep an eye on that chart. Another chart that um, I think is really setting up nicely is FireEye. FireEye, really nice little tight consolidation. Now we're pushing against resistance in this chart. And that's why we've consolidated up here. We started to get a little bit bullish yesterday. Um, I actually picked up a position in this trade just for full um, uh, 
full disclosure, I'm in this trade, so there may be a bias here, um, but I'm looking for this to maybe uh, move on up. Now, here I wanna also mention that I'm not looking for a great big move. I'm just looking for this to give me 15, 20% uh, type move in my options. I'm not looking for great shakes here, so uh, kinda keep an eye on FireEye. Looking pretty good overall. Let's take a look at MLNX. MLNX and, and, and tongue-tied MLNX is doing virtually the same thing um, rallying up having this nice little light consolidation pullback and you can see just setting up in here so this may continue to rest and pull back in here I'd watch that for that potential to move on up once it comes back and contacts into that trend area or if we get that bullish move in the market looking pretty decent here and I've actually placed an alert on that chart trying to wait for that to to come to me let's take a look at Costco now Costco saw a little bit of selling yesterday got caught up in it but this could bounce right back and if you guys remember I was talking about this idea that if if you draw the trend line in here we still have room for this to bounce around in here as it continues to construct the wedge um, in this um, in this chart so I think it's still worthy to keep an eye on it watch that chart to see if that has the potential to move through we'll have to just focus uh, on it a little bit uh, this pullback really didn't damage it all that bad um, yesterday so keep a close eye on it if it pops right back up take a look at um, Intel Intel has been doing much the same thing, consolidating against a substantial resistance area in the chart. But I'll notice here, I'll pull this, make this a weekly. Um, we could break through that and attack the all time highs in um, Intel. We haven't seen prices up here in Intel since 2000. So a pretty substantial move could be made. We're looking at 60 to 70. Um, on that chart so good 10 point possibility if we can break through that resistance so I've placed an alert up here I'm watching this pretty closely and as this cons consolidation continues to build out here I'm watching this trend just knowing that it may consolidate itself uh, for that period of time it could even pull back and really not damage um, this chart at all but watching for that opportunity that that may pop through and then we've got that big possible 10 point move up there to all time highs um, could be setting up in the chart. So keep an eye on Intel. Um, Nvidia is another one that I would keep a pretty close eye on. Yesterday it tried to push higher. Um, the trade uh, news pulled it back by the end of the day. This is a pattern that uh, you won't find in any book. I call this a Fig Newton pattern where we have the uh, uh, light colored cookie on each side of the dark filling and those tend to resolve themselves to the upside. But don't discount the idea that it may continue to consolidate just a little bit more as we try to figure out this trade situation. It may bounce around in here just a little bit more. This morning, as you can see, is indicated just slightly higher, um, but it's got a lot of work to do um, to, um, to really break through that area. But I wanna watch this for that potential trade. So keep an eye on NVIDIA. The big banks have been, um, well, they took a little damage yesterday pulling back with the market news, but the big banks have been holding up in, in pretty decent consolidations. Um, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, uh, JP Morgan, all of those um, looking pretty good in here, holding up very, very well. Might wanna place um, some alerts on those and watch. There could be an opportunity for some of those big banks to really get moving in the charts. Take a look at General Electric. GE is one of those stocks that, you know, just been hammered, 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 hammered down for a long, long time. We've just been diving, diving, diving in that chart. The reason I'm um, even bringing this chart up is we broke through a substantial resistance level in this chart. And so far, there's been no desire to sell 
that stock off. So as this consolidates up here and we're dealing with this price resistance level right over in here, all of this area and all of this congestion in the chart, we're not finding any sellers here. So as this rests in here, we wanna watch for that possibility of that popping on through to the upside. I don't know exactly where this trend is. It could be down here. It could be that trend that's going to start here and we don't know where that uh, that new signal comes in if it steepens its um, its rally. Right now, I'm just comfortable watching this chart, waiting for that next potential entry into the trade. So keep that keep that on your list, something to watch. Honeywell, whoops, Honeywell took some damage yesterday. I was looking at this as an opportunity to maybe pop on through. Honeywell is going to have to drop off of that list for now. It could recover, but that was a pretty damaging move yesterday. I've been talking about it, so I thought I should just point that out here in the chart. Pretty damaging yesterday in that pullback. So right now, this drops off of my list as a potential trade. Just something to keep an eye on. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic fantastic day. Again, if you feel these videos are worthy, if you picked up some information here that's helpful, make sure and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you more than you can possibly imagine. We'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day. Everyone.